let's start with a prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Gabriel, pray for us. St. Paul, pray for us. Holy Souls in Purgatory, pray for us. My name is Kathleen Pope. I've been a supernumerary member of Opus Dei for over 20 years. And I have the privilege of speaking to you today about a central teaching from the lessons that St. Jose Maria taught us. Sanctification of work. Opus Dei means work of God. Work is a part of our very nature. It has the capacity to be transforming. Through work, we can develop greater self-knowledge and knowledge of God. And we can draw others closer to God through our work. God's plan for man to work is not a new teaching in the Judeo-Christian worldview. In the story of creation, God put man in the garden to work, to till the soil. This was not a punishment, as many gardeners will attest, but rather a means to fulfill his very nature. When he was dispelled from the garden, after he committed original sin, work did not change from being a means of fulfillment, but now it would involve toil through the sweat of his brow. St. Jose Maria inspired us to make all the paths of the earth divine, sanctifying all noble work, any earthly occupation. This includes manual labor, labor as well as intellectual. It includes creative work, writing, art. What type of work are you drawn to? How in your work do you use your talents and skills? Be grateful for those gifts that God has bestowed upon you. Ask him for clear direction and guidance in the work that you do each day. Know yourself and your abilities and limitations. I watched a documentary and I'm currently reading an autobiography of a songwriter. Many will say they don't know where the songs that they write originate. It just spills out of me, some have said. Many believe it is a prayer, an expression of the creator working through them. Our work can be just that. Yes, work can be burdensome and not so glamorous, even monotonous. St. Jose Maria said, we can make the prose of each day into heroic verse. <clears throat> It is not true that one day is the same as the next. If you put love into each day, the work that you do becomes exponentially greater, growing one monotonous day upon the next. Examine what tasks in your professional work do you find tedious? Washing dishes, especially when it's everybody else's dishes, pulling reports or updating them, dealing with grumpy customers, the list can go on. Each of us finds certain aspects of our work a, a drag. Well, it's that drag that can be transformed. It's not merely a change in attitude that will transform, but by making that very work into an offering to God. This can be done with a simple prayer before we start. Lord, this task is for you. Perhaps making that difficult duty a priority in your day. Starting with that most difficult thing. And then we can say, I unite this small suffering to your redemptive cross. We can practice particular virtues when we work. That helps to sanctify us. Punctuality, for, 
for example. Be a few minutes early to work and leave on time. Don't be proud to think that the whole company will fall apart if you leave on time. Give an allotted amount of time to each task and then prioritize those tasks. Change up your schedule if there is a need to accommodate the others around you or to make the most use of the best parts of your day when you're doing a task that might require particular concentration or focus. Self-control. Social media is a, a, a tool in our work, but it can also be a great distraction. You know what I'm talking about. Facebook, LinkedIn, simple Google. <laughs> it can happen to the best of us. Don't get sucked into the vortex. Depending on your profession, you will decide to use these means very little, or perhaps a substantial chunk of your day will be dedicated to posting, reviewing, or seeking out information on these sites. This is a very good opportunity for reining myself in and using the means in a fruitful way, not as a time waster. Order. Make a plan. Schedule your day. Schedule your week. Look ahead at your whole month or the whole year. Name very specific goals and make each one of them attached to a particular intention. It may be for a colleague. It may be for a friend or a family member. One of the things I like to use as a means to raise my mind to the supernatural are the dates in the calendar. So there might be a particular saint's day, or it might be in memory of a family member who has died that helps me to keep that supernatural perspective when I'm working on that particular day. Take good care of our instruments that we work with, whether it's the keyboard and the monitor, cleaning off the screen, or in the kitchen, the appliances that we use, uh, the speaker that we work with, our vehicle, our car, our truck. Earn the respect of those we interact with each day. The person on the elevator or the one in the, in the car next to you on the road. By your hard work and dedication, we can have a positive influence on those around us and help them sanctify their work. Who can resist someone in their, who is in their work as cheerful and industrious and self-controlled and who has and shows consideration for those around them? Perfectionism is not what we're talking about here, but rather having a keen awareness of who we are and our abilities and the areas where we need to improve. There is a book that you can reference called The Temperament God Gave Me by Art and Lorraine Bennett. This is a means for increasing our self-knowledge, understanding who we are and why we act or see things in a particular way. It also helps us to understand better those around us and their temperaments and how we complement one another. Ask God, what is it that you're asking of me in my work in this particular task? Many things depend on this, that you and I live as God wants, even when we have to go against the grain. For Christ to work, to, to work through us in our work, our professionalism must be clearly recognizable. And even better, if in a discreet way, the others discover that Christ is the reason we put our best into our work as a gift back to him. Let's finish with a prayer. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. Holy Mary, our hope, handmaid of the Lord, pray for us. All the guardian angels, pray for us.